A class at TCU pairs art and science for real world applications. Gilma Avalos today showing us how the project's student teams are creating will enrich the lives of animals over at the Fort Worth Zoo. An art major at TCU welts together what looks like an iron sculpture, but this steel basket won't be on display at a modern art museum. So it'll be up high, so they'll have to climb up there to get it. It's headed to the Fort Worth Zoo to help bring more of the wild into the bonobo exhibit. And so we wanted to be able to create the behavior of that foraging that they do in the wild. Inside this workshop, students bring to life structures to mimic the mental and physical stimulation animals get in their natural habitats. So this one right here is going in and pulling and picking out their food from these holes. Staff here at the zoo noticed that the giraffes were spending a lot of time grazing on the ground and eating their food too fast. It's why students have created a structure that will be suspended in the air and encourage them to look up. The goal for giraffes to reach up for the leaves and pull the food out with their tongues. It's a unique learning opportunity Sarah Jennings couldn't pass up. You know, I've always really loved animals and I love helping animals, and I thought, yeah, and I can go to class and make something for them and then give it act to an actual zoo where it'll get used. Her team's creation will help lemurs forage for food more naturally, melding together art and science to make an impact. We made this as a group and we're also helping the animals, you know, live their life as they would if they were in the wild. In Fort Worth, Gilma Avalos, CBS 11 News. The students, by the way, are going to install those structures and present their projects at the zoo next month. And this is the second semester TCU has offered this class, and some of those original projects are still helping animals today.